Hello YouTube, I'm Neta from Vitorit and today I'm going to do a wrap up from June even though it's a little bit late but I was away for the week so you know I couldn't film anything and then I'm going to do my July TBR so I hope you enjoy and stay tuned to know more about the books I've read or that I'm going to read. So the first book I read was a pretty awesome book and it is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. I hope you can see it properly if though the lighting. And I thought it was really cool. If you want to know more about it, I already did a review video about it. So I will link that down below and then you can hear more about this book. But I thought it was pretty cool and I was really glad I started reading this book in the beginning. So that's great. The second book in June was a book I really enjoyed. It was an audiobook and I will get it I will show it to you wait one second. And it is In Real Life My Life to a Pixelated World by Joey Kisefa. I assume you all know him because he's like a very famous YouTuber. And I really, really, really enjoyed the book. I really really recommend you guys reading it or listening to it. Um I got it on Audible, but you can also buy like the book or all the things and I thought it was really awesome and I really enjoyed it so if you're curious you can check it out and if you haven't used Audible yeah you can even try it for free so that's pretty cool isn't it and I thought it was amazing great book and uh, these books are the reason I'm starting to enjoy more autobiography non-fiction kind of stuff because I really enjoy it and it's awesome and that's all I'm going to say about it. So the next book I read was Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard and you can't even properly see the cover unless I move it because it's so shiny but I really enjoy this book it's got powers like abilities and you've got houses of royalty and all kinds of stuff it's a dystopian and I thought it was really cool I enjoyed it and I even gave like this book to one of my friends for her birthday like that good I even know forced my friends to read it so I really enjoyed it it was a pretty decent book it wasn't one I absolutely love but it was really cool and I really enjoyed reading it and I'm excited to know what will happen next with the character so Red Queen really cool really cool it's recommended then for some change I read a Dutch book and it is the bad it's like the second part of a book I already read the first part is the 8th club that is something like the dinner club or something and it isn't really top notch literature or anything but it does make an entertaining read so I do enjoy reading it but it's just like I don't really feel that it's like this is the best book ever or it's really great it's just it's entertaining it's why I read it and it does its job so I enjoyed it it's really shiny and I'm not going to say too much about it that was it I read it I enjoyed it then I read The Wizard of Oz and this book is really cute you know look at the cover it's so nice and I did enjoy it it wasn't like I absolutely loved it but I was really interested because you know I kind of knew the story but I had never read it and um, therefore I decided to read it and children's classics are pretty cool you know since you know the story but you know it's always a bit different when you read it and I did really enjoy it it was a nice little book and I can see that why children would like this book even though there are some <laughs> things that I was like okay whatever it's a bit weird that they do that but it was it was fine and with reading this I completed one of the TBR jar TBR jar challenges that's difficult one of the TBR jar challenges and it was read a classic novel which I did so I finished it pretty nice book and um, let's go on to the next book and then the last book I read in June was Harry Potter magical places from the films and um, obviously this is a novel but it's like non-fiction and it is very cool it's all about all the places from the movies and how they were made and all kinds of fun information about it and I really recommend you guys reading this book if you're a Harry Potter fan because like oh my god I thought it was amazing and it got awesome concept art and it was so cool and all the information and it's amazing it's really amazing I think I might make a video about this sort of book soon whatever maybe probably I don't know but read it if you like Harry Potter it's very cool and oh my god I love it I loved it so much 
So that were the six books I've read in June, which is a pretty decent number. And uh, now let's go on to my TBR part for June. Um, I'm going to start with the TBR jar challenge because you know I've got to have a challenge for this month that I'm already a bit late. So let's just pick one and see what it says. I don't know. Read a book you did not finish. Actually. That could work, that could work. The first book I'm reading for this month that I started last week when I was a week away actually is The Great Gatsby. I hope you can see it, it's on my phone. And The Great Gatsby is actually a book I had to read for school a year ago or something and I only got halfway in before there was a deadline and I stopped reading it and you know how things can go and I did never finish it. So I'm going to read The Great Gatsby for my you read a book you did not finish and I hope I'm going to enjoy it and I will definitely finish it this time so that will be alright I will finish the challenge pretty soon I hope. Now I will quickly show you the other books I want to read in July and the first book is Alice Adventure in Wonderland and Through the, Lookings, Through the Looking Glass then I want to read The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, which sounds like an amazing combination, so it will probably be a lot of fun. And then I want to read Harry Potter The Creature Fault because I got it and I already loved like Harry Potter The Magical Places of the Films and I think The Creature Fault will be even more amazing and I think it will be beautiful and oh my god, I need this in my life. Oh, that's what I'm going to read. So I've got Four books I want to read in this month, and I still got an audiobook I got to finish that is The Dream Musketeers, but it's so long, so I don't know if I will finish it this month. But that were the books I want to read in July, and uh, I will show them one more time on um, The Great Gatsby, but that's on my phone. So that was it, that was my July TBR. This was my wrap up and TBR. If you have anything to say about the books I've showed you, whether or not I read it, please tell me about it, and then I can talk about it, I love talking about books, so if you have anything to say, for example, about Alice in Wonderland, please let me know, and it, it will be fun. Okay, so this was my wrap up and TBR, I hope you have a great day, enjoy life and be happy, and I will see you soon in another video. Goodbye!